Okay everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Voyager class art fire from the Transformers United toy line. It's also the same pretty much as Inferno and Grapple and indeed Hotspot using the same mould. Just a reminder that this is only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do this. So let's just start off with removing the back panel there. This bit folds out, bring it down out of the way, fold the head back and you'll hear that click into position. What we're then gonna do, there's so many different ways. So let's have a look at taking these bits above the shoulder, folding them up out of the way, folding the side bit out, and then there's a piece underneath as well. So this is really quite clever. All of you, the side you can see has been tucked away neatly on the underside of this. So all we're doing is we're folding the side out and the bit underneath. You can then just leave these out of the way for now. What we're gonna do is turn our attention to the actual forearm. Now what you can do is you can turn so the fist faces pretty much down. Then this part on the back of the forearm, you're gonna lift up slightly, rotate it round, and indeed fold this bit out. So you can see we're literally building the side of the alternate mode and the fire engine out. So same for this, fold it round, fold this out, lift the arm up and then rotate it that way. Let's turn our attention to the legs. What I suggest you do, hold the thighs, hold the top part because you only want to spin it round from below the knee. Hold the thigh, spin it round and you can see here you've got these huge tabs and connectors. Let's push them together. This is the cool bit now underneath. As you fold this part out, you'll see the wheels appear. There they are. Um, you can, if you want to, fold them out right now, or you can wait till the end. I'll just show you how to fold one out and show you at the end, it really makes no difference. Now, flatten this down so it's flat. Bring this black tab down. That little notch there will fit into there perfectly so you know you're right. And all it is now, it's a matter of bringing this together. So, we've turned the forearm round. We've done it on this side, so let's fold this in. You've got a cut out there and some tabs there. This literally just slots together like a huge jigsaw piece. It's really clever, really easy. Um, then you can take the top part, rotate this around, bring it down and exactly the same. Just fit it all together via all the tabs. You can see how easy all that went together. Even if it looks like that, it's, it's really, really simple. So bring this in, fold, turn this around. Oh, and bring it down. So you've got all these tabs here, you can just literally push it together. The reason the wheel isn't there is because we haven't turned it out yet. I wanted to show you how to do it from either way, either as you immediately turned it over, or indeed as we're about to do it now towards the end. If the crane bit gets in the way, which is what that was, just reposition it all. You've got a black tab there on the roof, which is gonna connect together like so. And then as I say, just make sure that everything slots together neatly. There's the wheel, fold it out and the bumper goes forward. That is your transformation process to alternate mode. So if we're gonna take him back, it's just a case of literally untabbing everything. So we'll start off with what the arm is, untab this there, and then untab the whole side as well. Once this is untapped, you can in fact, if you want, fold this over straight away to get it out of the way. Lift this up and separate this part at the roof. This will enable you to now fold the arms completely out of the way. You can repeat the same process on this side, so untab from there, untab from here, and indeed start to lift this up and out of the way. Once it's off here, you can bring it out like so. That's the upper body. It looks a right mess, but it's so simple from here. Let's fold the wheels down. You have to fold the wheels back in, otherwise when you transform it back, see these are gonna fit into this groove. So if we hold this part now and bring this under, you can see how that fits snugly inside. If you haven't done the wheels, you won't get it underneath. Fold this bit down out of the way for now. And again, separate the legs. Remember, hold the top of the thigh, rotate below the knee, rotate below the knee all the way around. You can pull this bumper down if you want ready. Now let's sort these arms out nice and simple. Fold the forearm part over and then rotate it oh, nice and carefully. It is easier if you're holding it right in front of you, it's because I'm reaching around in the camera. Rotate it round, bring this down and then correct the orientation for the fist to face out. Shoulder part, fold this bit underneath, this bit over the top. And then do you know what? You've got two choices, well, you've got loads of choices. The artwork shows it with it on the side. I'm gonna show you the other way you can do it as well. So what we did is we get the crane out of the way. You lift this up, you fold it around. I already folded that bit over. Bring this down, turn the orientation so the fist is facing you and then the crane is behind. For the top bit, the red panel goes on the top, the white panel goes underneath, 
And then as I say, it's up to you. You can put it on the side like that, or if you want to, you can bring it to the back. It totally depends how you want to display it, like so. And then the best bit, let's get the head reveal, take the lights, push this forward, head pops up. There you go. So yeah, just do that last bit again, because it's cool. Clicks into place, push the light bit forward. There you go, head reveal. That is the transformation process. And hope it helped you out. Take care.